Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to discuss managing simulation results. And to start the conversation, let's go to simulation options. And this is in 2015. Similar option in the previous uh, versions. Under results, you'll find that there's essentially three ways to save result files, three different locations. Number one, it usually defaults to this is the SOLIDWORKS document folder. So if I have a part, that's where it's going to put the results. I can also tell it to create a subfolder under there. Okay, and then finally, uh, you could set a user defined location for all of your result files. Okay, we'll keep it at the default for now. Okay, and right now, just to show you, this is coming off my desktop in this folder. I don't have any results in here yet. So let's look at what happens when we set up a results folder and we run a, a simple static study. So I'll create a study here. We'll take the defaults. We'll say this is going to be alloy steel. We'll fix the bottom. And we'll put a force up here on the top. Okay, so we're going to run this study. And by the way, when we look under properties, you can see that yeah, it is going to this location where the file is open from. Okay, so we'll run our study. And when it completes, we go in here and it looks like this. Now this deserves a little bit of a, of a conversation here. Um, these files are all open while we have the part open. What you'll see is when we close our part out, and it doesn't exit, doesn't really crash or anything, uh, it zips everything up into the CWR file except for maybe a, a few files. Okay, so let's look at that. So I'll do a window, close all, and uh, I'll go ahead and save my document. Now when I go to that directory, this is the big guy. This is our CWR file, right? We're checking results in, you know, to, to a vault or something like that. This is the one you want to get. Uh, this is a log. This is a text. This is a temporary file. Um, okay, so that said, let's look at what happens um, when we move our results. Okay, so, and this is something that happens quite often. Let's say I I wanted to move this part uh, along with the results. Okay, so I'll copy those. I'll put them into a new folder here. Okay, new FEA results. Okay, and then we're going to open the part from that location. So this time, new part location, and I'll go to uh, new FEA results folder and open the bottle. Okay. All right, and I have my static results there, and I can plot them. Now, this is critical. Uh, let me point out that um, if you aren't picking up results for any reason, always, always right mouse click on the study, go to properties. There'll be a results folder right here. Okay. Sometimes when you're moving files, you're doing pack and go or whatever, uh, it does not update this results folder location sometimes. Okay, so if if you think you've got results that should be getting read, come here and and if this isn't going to where your results are, you can um, you can edit this right. You can browse and go to wherever they are. Okay, this is Tim at Go Engineer. Thanks for watching this quick tip video.